Hello everybody, welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Yulia and in today's clip we are gonna put side by side two products that are very very trending and viral even before TikTok, I think. Or? No, I'm pretty sure they were really viral before TikTok because I don't remember the e.l.f. mint grip primer being viral on TikTok. So TikTok? <laughs> TikTok, but it might be a case that I was not there as a as a as a as a user the product in questions are the milk hydro grip primer and the elf power grip primer and someone told me this is a blue bottle from work someone that i that i very much cherish and she is very dear to my heart but girl, this is not blue. This is green in my head, a turquoise green, and this is like a grass green. So I'm gonna put these ones side by side just to see how I feel about them while I literally touch them at the same time. Anyway, without further ado, let's move the fringe out of the way and play with these guys. So I'm gonna put the elf on on this side and something that I didn't notice with this guy is it expires in three months which to me sounds a bit like questionable just because I also have the baby pink version to this guy and it says like 12 months why does this expire in 3 months? Elf is this 100% natural as the milk one? because even if that is the case on this one it says it's expiring in Don't tell me it was saying only on the box. Pretty sure it was 12 months. Milk. Milk. That is so bad. I know people don't tend to take into consideration that, but lately I feel people are more uh, paying, paying more attention to these types of details. Pretty, pretty sure it said on the box that this expires in 12 months. So I'm like... Is that the price point difference? Like, is, is, is it because of that, that this one is like more expensive? I don't know. So this one retails for 35 pounds, while this guy retails for 10 pounds full size. The mini size, I'm pretty sure is like a fiver. So the direction on this guy is, use fingertips to apply and pat into skin allow to set for 30 seconds. This is not a new formula because I tried the first limited edition kind of version and seriously I don't see a difference between the two of them like it's definitely a repackaged situation and yeah this feels really glidey and it definitely has a lot of stick to it we'll see once it dries down we kind of start to see the stickiness and you can definitely hear it and now let's go with the milk one. This smells much different than the other one. And I also must underline with the previous e.l.f. version, the mint one, I think it had some fragrance to it and it was stick, stinging, not sticky, sti sticking, stinging my face so badly. With this one, I don't have any problem whatsoever and it goes the same with the milk one. And seriously, I don't feel a, a difference between the two of them once you kind of um, squeeze them out of the tube. They are as glidey as one another. I genuinely don't find any difference. But yeah, let's see once it sets. Oh, it definitely sticks. Ooh. I mean... No, this one drags my finger, like like my cheek is like properly pulled apart compared to this one. This hurts, this doesn't. I mean, they're both sticky. It's just, I would say this one hurts a bit better, <laughs> which is not necessarily a good thing, but you get my point. But yeah, now let's go with foundation, I guess, and see how it feels while while i apply foundation really you know what i actually am starting obviously to do my brows and i remembered i tried a hack that i invented i haven't seen anyone doing this 
is essentially applying this style of primer onto the brows and you know what I tried it only with milk I'm gonna try them with both so essentially this was inspired by elf because they have their brow lift dupe from uh, brow yeah that's this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm always trying to say Anastasia when in fact she's Romanian I should say just Anastasia Beverly Hills I always do that it's just my brain not coping with the fact that I should just like pronounce her name in the Romanian accent anyway so I tried it with milk and this inspired the kind of hack because seriously this is quite sticky I wouldn't say it's the most long-lasting brow lift it's just quick on the go anyway so I'm using the same brush just because it uh, I mean that's not the purpose of this video but I thought, you know what, since I did this one on TikTok, might as well share it here as well, since this video is about these two guys. And you know what? Like, look at that. I, it's just it's just quite decent, you know? Like, I don't know, you're welcome, I guess. So foundation of choice is gonna be this. I even forgot the brand. Maybelline Superstay Vitamin C Plus 24 Hour Skin Tint. It's just my favorite foundation at the moment and I'm just gonna use a foundation that I already know and love with this primer testing just because it's gonna be fair and that was proof that I actually quite used it because I could barely <laughs> get a drip from the beginning of the bottle I'm just gonna buff everything in so already I have to dab it's just this style of primer doesn't like when it's dragged and I am quite used to dragging around it's because like I'm always in a rush I don't want to spend forever onto the um, application process not when I don't actually have the time I feel because I allowed the primer for quite a bit to set down it's not as unforgiving with the dragging so you've seen like because my my instinct it is to drag I did drag and it's definitely not as bad as when I tried it for work one time and I was like why do I keep going back to this kind of a primer when it's just not for me and again I guess that's a good point to shout now this primer you actually have to leave it for 30 seconds to set so if you don't have that time which I personally sometimes don't when I work in office yeah I would skip it. I'm just gonna go and apply concealer and everything in between and see how the foundation looks after quite some bit of a get ready with me for other video clips. We are back and I'm dying. I filmed this uh, other video and I had to change just to go with the vibes but obviously now I'm not going with the vibes. Anyway, um, I'm looking at the viewfinder because I feel it doesn't show the reality of the situation that I'm in basically I did spritz some setting it's not setting a it's like a refreshing hydrating spray and this one feels like it disturbed the situation with the primer I'm not loving it I feel like yeah you can see it moved here my skin feels really dry I just don't feel this primer situation it is necessarily for me. I just love a hydrating primer. I'm not saying it's like... Nah, I don't like how my makeup looks like. It looks terrible and I feel it's a primer. This feels like a barrier between just like, I don't know, not providing any hydration. Like it's a barrier that doesn't provide me hydration while with other primers they do provide me hydration. Yeah, at the same time, this patch here, it was my fault because I went in with a powder puff to kind of like disperse the spritter and it did really bad stuff to my area. However, I can definitely see on the lower, low, on the bottom, oh, not lower, sorry, on the top lip, it's just cracked. Also here, you can definitely see it. I'm not saying I don't have these things happen to me while I'm like doing life, like living life uh, with makeup. But 
I only filmed inside for an hour and this just happened and I'm just like I don't think that primer is for me like it's not the kind of primer I ever go back to it and I don't think also because obviously that's the kind of conclusion people want to hear if you wanted to give one or the other a go I would say start with a mini size so yeah I was really lucky that I got this one gifted and this one obviously I actually know I actually got this one gifted the mini one but I had the mint big one and once I decluttered, decluttered that I didn't feel the need to go and buy another one because I don't think this is my choice of primer as a normal to tendencies of dry skin in the winter time kind of gal I wouldn't say you should run out of your way and splurge on milk I just know that I think I'm gonna use them as a brow gel it's not too bad it's not perfect but it's not too bad either because the elf lift brow gel does the same thing as face primers products personally i don't see a difference between the two of them i don't feel like my skin actually no this one this side but no i don't think i should go dirty on milk this side i always get a fine line uh dent i feel because i always sit like this like i'm always have the tendencies to go with my mouth like that while with this one i don't do it as often so yeah, I don't think it's a primer. I genuinely only see that difference of a line, except that everything looks identical. Yeah, no, both of them are identical. I don't see a difference between the two of them, really. And maybe you should definitely listen about the differences of these two from someone who has oily skin. That is not me, but if you ever wanted to try it as a normal gal I don't see the hype I really don't at the same time I don't think this primer is practical 30 seconds I was about to say 30 minutes but no 30 seconds still feels like 30 minutes in the morning when you have to get ready for work like I love makeup so I always like to have it done and look like ready and glammed up but if I have to be somewhere it has to be practical not massive difference between the two of them and i wouldn't recommend them purely because of my skin type and my preferences but let me know in the comments if you do love it yourself and why you do love it